And are your kids safe at church? What about at school or on a trip with their travel team? WBTZ uncovering disturbing allegations tonight against the adults who parents are trusting with their kids. Our investigation tonight revealing how a child abuser got close to children at several Charlotte churches before his arrest at a South Carolina church. As well as a youth basketball coach and the founder of a local travel team also accused of sex crimes with children tonight. He's now charged with human trafficking. But we'll start with that WBTV investigation, digging deeper into what local churches are doing to keep your children safe. Investigative report reporter Naomi Cole started asking questions in the wake of multiple men who volunteered at area churches being arrested for sex offenses involving children. She's on your side with the story you'll only see on WBTV. I had unrestricted access to three to five year old children for the entire six months that I was volunteering at New Spring Church. Before Jacob Hazlitt was convicted of felony child sex crimes and sentenced to 75 years in prison in South Carolina, he was a church hopping volunteer here in Charlotte. I'm going to invoke my Fifth Amendment right. My concern is that there's still more victims out there that have not been helped. And before Benjamin Danron was indicted in Mecklenburg County in January for child sex crimes, he too hopped from church to church in Charlotte, attending and volunteering. Before that, he was in Texas. A lot of my children that I represent are harmed in schools, in churches, um, anywhere children are. Josh Slavin recently wrapped up a string of civil lawsuits against the church where Hazlitt last volunteered. He abused multiple kids in one single hour in a classroom, knowing that there was a camera there. I was compulsive and, and did what I did. I obtained never before seen video deposition footage of Hazlitt, admitting his crimes were driven by poor enforcement of church policies. Were you ever interviewed or screened by any actual employee of New Spring Church? No. For Slavin, it's a larger problem in some churches that rely on volunteers. And what happens is they bury their heads in the sand, they bury the incident, and then the, um, the perpetrator is able to go on to the next place and harm other kids. We surveyed 16 of the largest churches in the Charlotte area about their child safety policies. We chose those churches not because abuse has been alleged there, but to get the best understanding of policies in place to prevent abuse in the churches where most people attend. Only seven of those churches responded. They sent policies that included surveillance footage, restrictions against adults being one-on-one -on -one with children, and screening volunteers. Josh Slavin, meanwhile, worries for victims who weren't found and don't get help. I was getting contacted by people who known Hazlitt in his churches in North Carolina. This is how the cycle of abuse perpetuates itself. Reporting in Charlotte, Naomi Coles, WBTV on your side. And you can read deeper into the policies for the seven churches that participated in Naomi's survey. You can head online to learn more right now at WBTV.com. Now back to that.